Hi guys! In this video, you'll see how the actors of the TV series The Addams Family 1964-1966 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Centric nature, which makes her personality more interesting. She can be attractive that doesn't go unnoticed by men. Played by Caroline Jones, who died in 83 of colon cancer. A rather optimistic outlook on dark and offbeat situations. He is deeply loyal to his family and shows genuine concern for them. Has a fairly broad outlook. The role is performed by John Astin. Tricks and conducts strange and not entirely safe experiments. Is much like his brother Gomez, is also very protective of his family. Played by Jackie Coogan, who died of a heart attack in 84. Lurch stands out for an impressive and intimidating appearance, but loyal to Adams. He is not without his sentimentality and, thanks to his silence, looks extremely mysterious. Played by Ted Cassidy, who died in 79 from complications of a heart surgery. Grandmama Mary Blake is quite charming and enjoys hosting Adams family events. Her actions are hard to predict, loves to experiment with magic, and has considerable knowledge of the occult. She is not afraid to stand out and has an unusual outlook on life. Pugsley Adams is characterized by a somewhat quiet nature and a certain benevolence, shows a keen interest in engineering experiments and grim amputation devices, has a knack for loyalty, played by Ken Weatherwax, who died of a heart attack in 2014. Cousin It has a warm nature, is not characterized by a manifestation of greed and selfishness, and his family can always rely on him. Has a hair so long that it looks like a mantle, played by Felix Silla, who died in 2021 from pancreatic cancer. Clyde Arbogast is an average city dweller who had a regular contact with the Adams, but is the complete opposite of them and even showing shock from their lifestyle. He is an emotional man, played by Eddie Quillen, who passed away from cancer in 1990. Sam Picasso is friendly to the Adamses, to whom he periodically visits for new sources of inspiration. He likes to stand out, has a creative nature and a lively energy with which he fills his work, played by Vita Sconti, who died in 1996 of lung cancer. Claude trades in illegal activities together with his accomplice Marty, in particular large-scale robberies. He knows how to navigate the circumstances, if necessary, wait and ingratiate himself, played by Don Rickles, who died of renal disease in 2017. Oscar Weber maintains friendly relations with Gomez, is engaged in entrepreneurial activities, namely he runs a circus, but is not original enough and doesn't know how to properly promote his business, who died of cancer in 1996. Amanda Peterson, Cynthia Pepper, is legally married to Hubert, with whom she lives next door to the Adamses. She is accustomed to a measured and ordinary life, and the Adamses' lifestyle is extremely incomprehensible and even horrifying to her. She can be polite. Mother Lurch adores her son, but has a negative attitude to anyone who, she thinks, seeks to harm Lurch. He is not distinguished by a soft nature and is characterized by a manifestation of pride, played by Alan Corby, who died in 99 of natural causes. Mr. Boswell, Peter Bonnards, is a fairly popular publisher who has been sent fake Marticia Adams stories. He has considerable experience in his field and understands what kind of material will generate positive feedback. Boswell is characterized by determination. Rockland Cartwright III, Tom Lowell, was brought up in a wealthy family, but he doesn't have friendly relations with his father and doesn't want to obey him in everything. Has a rather easy nature, is not without courage, and doesn't like to be treated too harshly. Mm -hmm. 
Sam Diamond is a private detective and one of his clients was the Adamses. He takes on absolutely any complexity, including searching for the thing. The efforts in restraint, including emotional, played by Tommy Farrell, who died in 2004 of natural causes. Isabel Tonbar, Jill Andre, was one of Pugsley's teachers. She is not stupid, knows how to indicate her position, but sometimes she can misinterpret the situation. She enjoys male attention, but in particular, she was romantically attracted to Mr. Jennings. Dr. Marvin has a veterinary degree, but his practical skills and intentionality proved lacking when he was called to view Kitty Cat, the lion in Adam's family. He has a hard time hiding his emotions, played by Martin Ingalls, who passed away in 2015 of a stroke. Mrs. Magruder is part of the women's league that Marticia wanted to join. She is well versed in some historical facts, enjoys small talk, and is interested in expanding the league. Played by Dorothy Newman, who died of pulmonary complications in 1994. Gladys is involved in the field of music, where she enjoys a certain amount of respect. She, like many others, appreciated the talent of Lurch, to whom she gave the necessary support. Played by Laurie Mitchell, who passed away in 2018 of natural causes. Harwood Whitty works in conjunction with Ralph J. Hulen. He assists his boss in his brokerage business by carrying out the necessary orders, knows how to behave with restraint, and doesn't act rashly. Played by Olin Soul. Wednesday Adam is characterized by quick wit and a sharp mind, as well as the ability to adapt to various circumstances. In most cases, she remains serious, combined with melancholy. Played by Eliza Loring, who died in 2023 of complications from a stroke. Professor Sims is a genealogist and helped Gomez trace his family tree. He is attentive to detail, doesn't make unfounded claims, and isn't afraid to clarify the information he needs. Played by Jonathan Ho, who died in 1998 as a result of an accident. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.